What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and I bring you guys a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video. This one's a little bit different than the videos I usually do, but what I'm showing you guys in this video has the potential to completely ruin the game. Now as you guys know, the Guardian score streak is something that can be pretty frustrating in core game modes. If you stand in front of it for too long, and if you're using the Guardian, you'll notice in a core game mode, it takes about 5 hit markers before it actually kills someone. As you guys know, in hardcore, you will only get 30 health, which means it only takes 2 hit markers to kill somebody with the Guardian. Now what had happened is I was playing some hardcore capture the flag since this is one of the only good hardcore variants to play since Treyarch is not really fully supporting the hardcore community, but that's a completely different issue. But aside from that, I was playing some hardcore capture the flag, I had earned a guardian kill streak, and I had placed it down. Now I thought it was going to be pretty good, you know, it's going to suppress some people here and there, maybe get some kills since it's hardcore, but it turns out it is a lot more powerful than that, and it has the potential to ruin the game. The reason being is Hardcore, Capture the Flag, and Capture the Flag in general on most maps does not have very good spawns. In this case, Hijacked only has about three spawn points for enemies. I'd put mine down accidentally and I realized they were spawning in front of it like crazy. So I kept putting them there, obviously because it's a smart strategy. But I realized this is a really bad way to abuse the game and I wanted to expose this because chances are this can start happening in more lobbies. As you see here, I get a nice little triple feed. I'm not going to lie, I kind of wanted a quad feed, but you know, it didn't happen. But basically, if you put down a Guardian in a certain, you know, enemy's spawn in Hardcore, it will instantly kill them, and they barely have any time to destroy them. So you could say, you know, you could run the excuse, oh, if they had fast hands and an EMP grenade, they could take it out really quickly. Well, by that time, they're going to die anyway, and it's just not fair. So I wanted to bring this up to you guys. You know, I'm not exactly sure if this can get fixed, but this is something that could potentially ruin the game. So I just wanted to make it aware to the community. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, possibly tweet it at, you know, David Vonderhaar, try to get it fixed, and I will see you guys later.